What's up, everybody? Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to another question. This is a communication type of question dealing with continuity. So suppose the limit as x approaches a of a function exists at point a. Does this condition guarantee that the function f of x is continuous at an x value of a? Now, if you remember from the lecture videos on continuity, we basically said or concluded that a function is continuous if the limit as x approaches a of a function is equal to f of a. There are actually two other conditions. This limit exists, f of a exists, and then, the, and then this was the third condition. That limit and f of a are equal. But the third condition pretty much implies the other two. Because if both of these are equaling, then it means that both of those are existing. So, suppose the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists at point a. Does it guarantee continuity? Well, no it doesn't because we're only uh, guaranteeing that the left side of this condition is met. It doesn't necessarily mean that it equals f of a. So, for example, Let's say that we have a um, function that has a hole at an x value of 3. So let's say it's a line like this. Well, is the function continuous? Let's say the y value is 5. Is the function continuous at that x value of 3? Well, no. It's discontinuous because there's a hole there, right? We have to take our pencil off the paper. However, does that limit exist? Yes, the limit does exist because as we approach that x value of 3 from both sides, we're approaching that y value of 5. So the limit exists, but the function is discontinuous. So that's an example of where the limit can exist, but the function would be discontinuous. In order for it to be continuous, not only does the limit have to exist, but the limit has to equal f of 3 as well. So if it was continuous, the limit as x approaches 3 of the function has to equal f of 3. And since this limit is equal to 5, then f of 3 has to equal to 5. And if f of 3 equals 5, then we know there's a solid dot there, which would make the function continuous. However, because f of 3 does not exist, that right side of this condition is not met, so the function is discontinuous. So just because a limit exists, it doesn't guarantee that the function is continuous.